All right, welcome back, everybody. We're taking a look at the mom-to-be. Look at her. She is looking all kinds of pregnant. Give me that look. I know, you're probably not that comfortable. Well, not much longer to wait, girl. Two weeks from today is her due date. And I am crossing my fingers that she's going to deliver a nice, big, healthy litter of baby boa constrictors. We don't want any or many slugs. Those are the unfertilized eggs. Um, we want all healthy, live babies coming out um, two weeks from today. Now, obviously, she could go a day or so early. She could go a day or so late. Um, it just depends on a lot of factors. But her due date is May 7th, which is uh, two weeks from today. And in my experience, they will usually have them on that day or a few days later. But I am going to be setting up a, a webcam tomorrow. And I'll have a link. And... Anybody can actually watch baby cam 24 seven. Um, so we'll be able to catch her in the act. I will be uh, filming, you know, nonstop saving the, uh, the footage. So when she does finally, um, you know, go into labor, I'll be able to record it and everybody can watch it as well. I did a video a few days ago of my buddy, Brandon Nixon's uh, female. Um, that was not, some people thought that was my snake, but no, that was his. Um, I was watching his live feed and videoed it with another, uh, with another camera and just kind of wanted to, wanted to show people what that looked like. Um, my camera will do nighttime color, so we'll see what that looks like. I'm going to be testing it this weekend and I will make it so even with the lights off, we should get a nice clear video. Um, most of the time boa constrictors will have their litters in the morning. Um, in Brandon's case... I think that was was really really late at night um and she was also like several days overdue but they'll start cruising their cage they'll become really restless and you can kind of tell when you know when things are getting close so we will be keeping an eye on miss roxanne um in the next couple of weeks and um very very excited to uh to have a litter of boa constrictors i just cross my fingers that we get lots of uh live and healthy babies and we don't need any unfertilized eggs. Don't need any slugs. Um, so we'll see what we get. Uh, we're going to see if she proves out to be a dominant or a super salmon. Um, she's a blood salmon. So she's got that visual blood coloration and visual salmon coloration. And the dad is a motley. And he's got the recessive gene for blood. So he's a het blood. There he is. He's hiding in the back. Um, so if any babies come out that have that coloration, then we know she's not a, um, a super salmon. If we have any normal motleys come out like him or um, any just regular salmons or regular bloods without the combination, we'll know that she is not, um, that both of her alleles are not dominant or you know super salmon so i don't care i just want to see some healthy babies <laughs> it's been a few years since i've produced them and i'm very very excited so all right everybody stay tuned have a great weekend subscribe if you haven't ring the bell for future notifications of videos hit the like button and uh enjoy your weekend may is right around the corner spring is here so lots of good things to come all right, have a great weekend, everybody.